Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the MC Esports here at Marietta College on Twitch. So, first off, let's go over that league game that we just happened. We couldn't really stream there. Uh, first round, uh, it's 0-1 right now, and they are starting the second game as we speak, I believe. So we'll give some updates on that when we can. But for now, we are going to be broadcasting our Valorant versus Muskingum University. Yes, of course, Muskingum. Again, our rival, we saw Super Smash Bros. They couldn't quite pull out that W against the Goofy Offish. So now we're going to go over the roster for our Valorant players here. We're going to be seeing... Levi as Taku, Trey Johnson, Pelican. We have Octavio as Critical Miss. Ian as McGlovin and Tyler Rich at as uh, Bubs. <laughs> so, we're gonna, oh, cool. so we're gonna not hear one of our familiar names. We know we know Tyler Salanitro, who is usually cilantro in game, is not gonna be playing with us today. He is sick at the moment. Hope this man gets better so he can bring some more Valorant does. But hey, he has a stacked team to rely on as well. Pelican, he is dangerous. He is going to be subbed in here and is going to um, make an impact on these games. As well, our head coach, Derek Games, okay, Game Games Grump. Uh, he's been helping out as much as he can with his Valorant team, and we will be having a Valorant coach here soon, I believe. I believe we do have a Valorant coach. We do? We do have a Valorant coach, ah, yes. Just needs updated then. Well, we are going to be getting into the lobby. Or we're in the lobby here now, so we can just watch please. that button, yep. Yeah. This about any button really works there. So yeah, we're gonna be looking at the picks here right in the map at the moment. Game Scrump as the attackers, coaching and horse. We as the observers we're gonna make love and bubs, critical miss, pelican and taku playing today. We're gonna and be we've got uh Muskingum's players, uh EK, Joker, Wired Up, The Light, and Fettered Roses. So we see that they're gonna be all flashy with their MU in front of their names. I'm sorry. I'm not changing my gamer tag. You can do that. It's just not the Siege team, bro. It's, no, then it's not the Siege team. The Siege team does it. Is it cringe? No. We'll let that be decided. It's an intimidation tactic. It's an intimidation tactic. Bro, if I go in a game of every single person being, like, all the same clan tag, as soon as I get a kill, bro... BM, BM, It's BM. BM all day. Bad manners. You know it. So, um, one of our awesome um, sponsors, since we have a little bit of time here... Um, we're gonna go over, uh, I believe, Over the Moon Pizza is, uh, it just... Right here, Over the Moon Pizza, one of our amazing sponsors that we have on Tuesdays, um, during our season game. Tuesdays they have a Switch you can go and play on, and during the, uh, the NACE season, Overwatch matches on Tuesdays will be streamed live on their TVs they have there. They have amazing pizza, and they're also a great supporter for Marietta Esports. So, speaking of support for the program, uh, we do have a Dine to Donate day coming up here soon at the Marietta location for Wings Etc. Uh, October 2nd, 11 to 11, dine in or carry out if you present to the ticket or a screenshot of the flyer at uh, the QR code to the side. 15% uh, of the total cost of your meal goes to the Marietta College Esports Organization. So, you know, you, you have to eat. Get some wings, get some beverages, soft drinks, everything you need. And hey, just while you're eating there, getting some awesome wings, you can just, you know, help out the boys over here at Marietta Esports. Exactly. Should almost be ready to get into our match here. Yep, just waiting on so. one coming back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Very, very intense games have to be focused for so long, so having to hold it in the middle of a game is definitely not the not best ideal. choice. <laughs> not ideal at all. So, I did get word from head coach Game Grumps. Uh, the maps for this series are going to be Bind, Lotus, and Haven. So, we already have seen uh, both Bind and Haven played by this team, and... I mean, Bind seems to be one of their better maps, so hopefully they can continue with the role here. Yes, it does seem Bind is, it is a better map. I've seen them on this, and now with Bubs picking up this raise. We see him on the Reyna a lot, but again, he's been picking up this raise, and raise in competitive. Mind you, the statistic is raise is a 100% pick rate on this map. 
Mm. Whenever you watch uh, VCT, it's always a raise here. The reason why is because of that grenade. Those paint shells are so impactful. You shut down so many angles because there is no mid on mine. No. So you have to go through one of the chokes or a TP, which Rays can completely shut down with her paint shells. Exactly. And as well, we want to see a lot more Sky coming out. Um, we have seen that both Taku and Pelican have been training on that Sky to really get her util better utilized for their team. Because Sky as well has an insanely high pick rate at the moment in VCT and in um, smaller levels as well. Because Sky just has so much good information. Her birds give intel, her dog gets intel, her alt gets intel, and she has a heal. Mm -hmm. Definitely one of the strongest and most reliable uh, agents in the game right now, and want to see what type of um, stuff they're going to run here today. Yes, of course, we have the good luck, have fun in chat, which means that we're going to be getting in here very soon at the moment. Now the R's are coming out, so we're going to get into this agent select. I do believe Marietta will be on attack here first. Yes, yep. they will. We're going to on attack here first, which is going to be awesome. We're going to be seeing... A Ray's Ray already locked right in. Side. Or not a no, Ray's, oh that's my god, be that's a Sova. Sova I'm locked great. in on the Sova is very good on bind. Able to get so much util and a Cypher. Wow. Cypher and Sova. Usually don't see these guys pulled out, but they are very good on this specific map. We're going to see McLovin locking in that KJ. Bubs on the Phoenix, not the Ray's. We're going to see the Phoenix gameplay, Critical Miss on that KO that he loves to play, and Taku on that Sage that he likes. And at the moment, it seems that Pelican's going to be filling for smokes. It does seem to be that way, which is a little interesting because he's more known as a initiator player, but given the fact that we already have two flash or four flashes total on the team, it doesn't really seem that we're going to be needing any more. As we see Muskingum Locking round in. out there. Uh, Composition with a raise KO and a brimstone as we do lock in that brimstone for there Pelican. There is a distinct difference in this comp. I wonder if you can spot it. Starts with an R. There's a raise. There is a raise on the enemy team. And what is Marietta lacking? A raise. Who's going to win this map? Marietta. Marietta, of course, but that's besides the point. <laughs> we're going to be going in here. We've seen both brimstones locked. This is a brimmy map. Brimmy with the stimmy and that Molotov. I have an ins I Wide love brim. the lineups here. Wide brim. Wide brim. Of course. It's just finished uploading in. It's. I do believe that this is really going to come down to these pistol rounds. Just go. This. My bad, my bad. So, <laughs> we're going to see that a little bit more. I'm gonna have my buddy here, Evan, do that casting. We're on attack. There we go. We got those player kills. Look at that. Those Get player kills. Pelican, the dangerous one. Stats so we here, do see him on that here. brim. Stimmy. Smoke's down. There's that dart. They do shoot it. Smoke the one way. Four lamps here. The knife does catch out the brimstone. But the brimstone's gonna stop this push in its track. With the Molotov. Critical miss here with a flash. And that's gonna be Pelican burning to death! The oh, Ray's paint shells Pelican. forced him out. You know what I said about Ray's? Yeah. There it is! Crazy. We put the con proof to concept right there. Ray's forced out Pelican from that corner, and as he was trying to run away, he stepped into the brain Molotov, which is the same damage. This is dangerous! Look at that trip that just barely missing it! That's gonna so be so much intel off of that smoke. Ah, critical miss going Finally, up. Joker Bugs. taken down as we see the rest of them. Marietta going, uh, Muskingum is going to pile on there, but Marietta is going to be able to get that spike down. Now it's going to be Bubs playing back here. It's going to be McLovin slotting himself in the elbow. Taku is on point with his wall. Going to be caught up by that raise bot, and now he's at half HP. McLovin's going to be looking at Taku, losing that duel there to the raise. Raze has paint shells back online again. Well, he's slowly pushing out here. Bubs is playing back. Gonna get engaged with this raise. He's playing in the smoke. They're not on spike. McLovin with a big pick, but Bubs down. gets sat down. McLovin can't quite make the clutch. That's gonna be the start of the pistol round going the way of Musket. Musking. Awesome BM shooting at the heads. It happens in every Goofy game. fish moment. Goofy hey, fish the... moment, as we see. Again, the BM runs deep within their veins, it seems. See, look, we're just on the better side of the river. <laughs> Honestly, we are. So, we're going to see 
the game plan now here is to get as many guns away from Mess Kingdom as possible here. We see they're all gonna buy specters on a full buy here. With that with, full shields as with well. With full shields as well. This is a very ballsy move by Mess Kingdom. They're saying no one's gonna die. They We're are fine with our that advantage that they have. But you see, Marietta has to play together. If they play together, if they're going for just like one or two picks, that's all they need. This will really shift it. If they get a gun in Bub's hands, I'm certain that they're gonna win this. And Bub's trying to fight for this orb here. Again, Phoenix Alt is a win con. If you get Phoenix Alt, you win a round. He's Sim already three away. Three away. He's going to flash out here. Watch. Flash out, but he doesn't know the Sylvis here on the right. There's no one to really dog it out. That's a great burning smoke. Flash. He's got a flash. There he is. He's oh, no. He gets the pick there, and there, Bubs with the gun. Get pushed by the Raze. Raze sits him down, and now it's going to be the rest of his team floating and trying to do something. There we go. Make loving. Making waves here. Going to be able to like, shoot, shoot down the Brimstone. The flash goes out, but the Molly from the other KO goes out too. There's slotted into this corner. 3v2. 3v3 at the moment, both even. Taku fighting for his life in Shadow Series. He doesn't know what this raise is. He's going to get shot right in the back. There it goes down Taku and the spike Fight in Shadow And now they're fighting for lamps. McLovin is going to go down. Raze is pushing their advantage with that pain shells and critical miss is only at 21 HP. You see him. Yes, he's found. Honestly, not that bad of a round. That's exactly what they're looking for, Marietta, here. Because now, two of the players can't buy. They have to buy very light here, and now their eco is going to suffer a little bit on this full buy round for Marietta. But now, Marietta has the cards in their hand. If they fold here, this is going to be very bad. We're going to see round five be taken by Muskingum if they lose this round. Just because of the eco status right here, we're going to see both the light and feathered roses are going to be only buying a ghost and light shields just so they can buy next round with their team. And now, Pelican. Looking dangerous, playing on his iPad here. Going to be putting down some smokes for his team. A little bit early here. Is glad no one's lurking up short. Going to see McLovin. Right there, critical miss. Pushing up with Bubs. You just see that McLovin is slotting himself. Oh, running away from Hookah here. Making sure no one's on the flank. The cages Joke's are going over. down. Joe's over, you're dead. dead. Bubs is going in with his ult. Bubs going in, doesn't see anyone. Sees someone backside, gets the pick that he needs, so and that's gonna be wired up. Gets the picks though. Gets a pick on the Pelican. Now they don't have any mollies, but that's gonna be the gunfight. It's going the way of Marietta. Bubs gets another pick. The last, he knows where he is. He knows he's in hookup. They're gonna heal himself instead. They don't have the spike down on Raze. Has been an absolute menace here. Let's see how they win this 2v1. Raze has to isolate their 1v1. Takes a little bit of damage. The flash is gonna go up by critical miss. Player standing. Flash blinds himself completely, slots, and that's a raise on! And that's a kill! What a shot from Critical Miss! What a shot! <laughs> you see the elation in his face as he realized he takes that round away off of a lucky Vaughn tap. There was no luck to it! He's just better! What do you mean, luck? And now we're gonna see the raise doesn't have their alt for the incoming rounds. And as we saw, again, Bubs, but. This is absolutely dreadful. That was the like best worst scenario. I guess. So you win the round, but you have no guns now. So now you lose this round. So but the gonna thing be is, if you look at the one. economy on the rest of this uh, game, Muskingum really is, does not have much. Well, if Muskingum wins this round, which is very possible, then they're going to start snowballing. Because as soon as you win the gun round against an eco, and you just keep winning. It's, just, it's very hard to come back, and we're gonna see a little bit of a split push here. Taki with only a sheriff to his name, and then Pelican with just a classic right clicking and camaraderation. Com um, Bub slotting himself in here, gonna be a little bit of poking, trying to see if he can get any kills here. A little bit of poke damage or chip damage, and it seems it's going to be a short push with this 2 3 setup here. So All is very quiet. Very quiet. They need to. Be together, they're all going short. McLovin gets tagged twice by it to try to show some presence here on B. Three on B, only two are on A, but those two on A are very, very well equipped to handle off this push. And here it goes. Pushes in. Bubs going in, slotting himself right into this lamp position. They're gonna flash right out into it. It's, it's gonna be critical miss going down, down top as well. 30 seconds left. EK is just going crazy with these kills. 
McLovin is planting getting that spike down, but he gets sat by the rays. It's only up to Bugs here, and he doesn't quite get anyone. A flawless round from us King of Esports. Marietta really needed to play a little bit closer there than what it was before, because if Marietta plays together there and rushes all in the lamps, they're able to get that gun from Brimstone. We are get seeing it that Marietta force by all Vandals, all heavy. Oh, well, then it was all heavy. Full ten now, vandals, full here ten is the shields. here is the deciding round. Marietta, Marietta wins this; it's even. Mm -hmm. If Muskingum wins this, they Thanks. snowball for the rest of this half. This is the quintessential round that Marietta has to win. Now we're gonna see Monty smokes smoke. goes down. Fetter goes. Smokes goes down as smoke's well. Down. We are on attack here. It goes pushing through short. The wall is good. Forcing themselves in the lamps. They have to push this together. Bugs with the flash. They all have to push out now and try to take this Brim. Brim got a little bit of an angle there. One's heaven. And now Pelican slotting himself here at that raise grenade. Doing so much damage and going to take down McLovin. McLovin to that raise grenade. Gets one but falls in the path. And there's going to be the Brim Molly. So much util being used here. Bugs trying to slot himself in to try to do some damage. And lamps. All four Marietta's people are in lamps. He gets Molly. By Pelican, what a misplay! Another all getting util spam in lamps, and that defender's just fishing a barrel. That was a very unlucky Molotov from Pelican, and again, this is why Ray is, is queen on this map, and we're gonna see the eco of Marietta going to the gutter and the eco for Muskingum soaring high. 14 elims on this race that just really tells you how impactful she is being and that round two of her kills are from grenades she didn't actually shoot two of the people that she got for that 4k she just killed them with grenades this is the the reason why she is picked so often on this map even if you're not very comfortable with playing rays maybe you can't double satchel maybe you're really bad with her ult you can throw a grenade everyone's played call of duty once Running away. Every person is hit by that suppression. And now we're going to see how do they advance here after they've been slowed down. We see the cypher trips that they do not see. One more kill. Bugs trying to slot himself in here. He gets hit. McLovin is going to jump out of Uka and try to get a pick there. Then again, the raise gets Last two with a grenade. Standing. Just wide. That cypher putting so much work Stay in. Stay in range of my stim beacon. We'll mow them down. Again. The rays. The rays, man. Absolutely just so just impactful here again. We're gonna see McLovin does get that pick there, so they're able to do something here, but again, look, Marietta, this is their one buy round. If they lose this again, they're in the gutter Watch once more. Learn. And Muskingum can buy for the rest of the half. This is very true. You see Gonna Pelican see and book. Bubs walking together. Pelican is on his iPad. He has his AirPods and he can't hear. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Let's see. Bubs slowly creeping up in showers. The smokes do go down both ways. We see Heaven. Come on, let's go. Hit. And there's the bubble. Oh, Flashing through. Doesn't catch anyone with that flash. Here's someone. The raise is right there. Doesn't quite get him. What? What a spray. What, what did I just witness? Bubs accidentally blinds his KO and tries to get a pick, but that's going to be the light getting the two kills. Who is that spray from the raise? They were shooting at Bubs, he killed three! Not only did he kill Bubs all, he got a headshot on Taku and then a... Uh, what? He got a collat on... I, I don't even know who it was. I believe he got a collat on McLovin and Taku. And then... Just does not feel I, good. That is a very unlucky, feels bad moment. There's not much you can do against that. Spraying at the Phoenix ult that's right in front of you, get two kills on the way out. Why not? Yeah. Average raise moment. So now we're gonna see Pelican having his ult back online here. Almost not back online, but just getting his ult right now. McLovin has this lockdown, but we see the eco of Marietta again. In the gutter. They have to light by once more. 
Let's see a slow push into B. It seems to be. I mean, an A push. It seems it's going to be an A push. Here's here. that raise hopping around. Is it just jump spotting? Making sure that no one's in shower. The lockdown is going to be essential. But right here, if you put this lockdown right here, Raze can just grenade it. Again, the Uto with Raze is endless. I cannot express it enough. And we're going to see Bubs doesn't have any util. He only bought a specter and a light shield this round. He has no util to his name other than the one he starts with. Smoke's going down, the you push goes run. out. There's the ult, but the raise is gonna be ulting right back, shoots it and destroys the lockdown instantly. They try to get the refrag, but doesn't quite get it. Bubs doesn't get the kill. The molly cuts off his avenue of escape. He sees one, one pick from the glove. That's a gun. And now Bubs gets a headshot. Gets them low. Everyone on Marriott is low, but the spike is planted. This is exactly what you're looking for. And um, what is that wall from Taku? Taku walls off his team. Now they are no longer allowed to escape. They are stuck on sight. They can't play lineups. They must face the music. Taku gets one on the Joker. Bubs doesn't quite get the duel onto that. Oh, it's one player left. But they're all so low. The wall actually might be helpful here, even though I believe the oh, season. Man. That is not the wall you use. It started as such a clean execute. Fell to pieces. Hold on your hat. I um I get that ult over to the well, brand right. Not the blue you hope for. I am very discontent about that wall. Yeah. Right there what you wanna do, you wanna wall off you wanna wall off I can my cursor is not showing. Can I ping? I cannot. So you wanna wall off. The, the part of the map on A, you see there where there's a little part between dice and um, truck. You want to wall that off if you're going to be playing right there. So you can win those duels with those specters and stop any long range duel with a vandal. We saw them losing the CT with all these vandals here. There's not much you can do against that. So now we're going to see pushing out here. Joker Help. has an up. Joker does have an op. He can buy whatever he wants. He could buy an op next round if he really, really a pick coming out. To, and there's Bubs down for the count. And we also see Musk Kingdom has three alts online. They used the Rez ult last round, but on their way to it, Sovo almost has his ult online as well. The only ults we see is Taku and Pelican. Pelican struggling you this round. Can't really find eyes. the value. He wants to. That all comes out. That raise. Taku does get that res. On the Bubs. The op wasn't holding it. That is big. Although Bubs doesn't have any shields. So Bubs is now, I believe, two shot from a Vandal, if I am counting correctly. Critical miss trying to win this one. Tool. Headshot. The lamps out is going to get sit down by the light. The light is going to go down to Bubs, though. Oh, Bubs healing out. himself as... Pelican uh, has the spike. spike. Pelican has the spike. Pelican gonna go plant, waiting for the wall there. And again, not the exact wall you wanna do, but it is a wall. The wall is gonna get broken, I believe. Pelican has so much damage! Ooh. That is such a risky play there. The Ray's grenade almost shoved him off the plant, and he gets one tap by the Ray's from heaven. Oh. There's gonna be another Taku getting the refrag, getting two! Getting three! Taku with the big play! Getting three! And now they only have to play safe here! All they have to do is just play here. That is an operator. Do not peek it. He already knows where they are. He's doing this. Oh, he picks up a vandal. He's going to make a play. The slow arm! Instead of shooting his gun, he slow orbs. This is no problem. He's gonna half it. McLovin has to get here quick. Has to get here quick. He knows McLovin set oh, it down. Geez. And that's going to be a round one for Marietta. The momentum shift is here. Taku with an insane play. Getting those three picks that were essential to his team. Winning that round. Turned a 4v2 into a 2v1. That is the exact plays you need when you're in those dire straits. There. Taku was focused and clicked on heads. That's what we love to see. Let him cook. He's on the grill. He's on the grill. He is cooking. Master Chef Taku. You can see Taku. Um, unable to buy though now. So only as a guardian and heavy shields to his name. Able to buy full util. Again, the buys from Marietta. They're trying to buy as much as they can, but they just don't really have a lot to work with they here. They do know. Twenty-one kills on that raise. An insane effort. We're getting put. 
here by the duelist on Muskingum's side. Joke's over! You're dead! There's the ult going through from Bugs. He's gonna make so much poke damage and critical miss is going to flash him. That's okay. Got a big pushy in here. He doesn't know someone's sitting there! Get kick. down. Bugs is gonna get his one. McLovin gets another, and that's now a 3v2. It's a 3v1 now with only Bubs. Slots himself into elbows. They might not know he's here. They don't know he's here. They don't know watching. if he crossed yet. Now they know. Now they definitely know that he crossed. Unless they're unaware. Making no noise. The Raze is checking behind. And there's a pick right onto the Sova. Flash goes out. Doesn't quite hit him. He gets satcheled. Oh, has the lineup there, but not quite the reaction time he needs to hit that shot. And now we're going to see him. How does he do break up these crossfires here? Left. Playing just right out of his LOS. And we're going to see him. And he gets sit down there. Wired up. Makes bubs. Wired down. That's so cringe. <laughs> you see, going into this next round. Even the last buys, Bubs is the only one that can really afford a gun here. The rest are having to have these, um, basically, oh, I would call them uh, mostly the super soakers. They're basically what that they're bringing to the table here. When we see that, again, <laughs> Muskingum has bought every Let's single round. There's not been a round where they've had to eco. Quite unfortunate to see. Uh, that dart? Catches, I believe only Bubs there. Might have caught in three. The smoke does go down on Muskingum's side. Bubs is trying to play here. He's trying to play against this one way. There's a dart. Not doing any poke damage quite yet. We see very slow movements. They're stacked up. Exactly what you want to do on an eco round. Stack up. Play the 50. Hope you're going into the less stacked site. Only a minute left in the round, and no, it's really stand up. Oh, Bubs gets sat down trying to peek in the shower, and now that's the go button for Marietta. They have to go in, get a pick here. A headshot on to the Sova. The plant is going to go down, but Talk is taking so much damage, and that's going to be a flawless round. You need to get at least one kill there to try to get the damage on the eco. Now it's last round. Marietta is going to be able to buy this round, but I don't think they can buy all their U2 as well as buying full Taku has to go with the light shield just to have all of his u for this round. We he do used see that Pelican have that ult up still. He needs to make something big here with that. Right here, what you want to do with this ult is completely clear out the backside of B if you're pushing on B, or completely clear out lamps. You want to use it for that spike defense, but you're not getting the spike down. Nope. Where if you're losing the ones, you have to make a play with this ult. Right here, you want to ult this ult. You want to ult elbow here or back side we're gonna see mclevin winning that 1v1 against that cypher what a good shot taking no damage to reciprocate and now there it is a push out of hookah on the site getting this plant down and now it's exactly what you're looking for talking slowly making it on the site to get the plant down he knows he's there let's get the plant down and there it is and now pelican can play for lineup but what is that kill they line up on spike they don't see Critic. One enemy remaining. They don't see Wired Up. Wired Up looking for this ace. But the light, the light is to... going to take it from him. Marietta, all three of them lined up. The star is aligned. And they all sat on Spike and got beamed down by the KO on Muskingum's side. Standing ahead. Switching sides. 10 to 2 at the moment. This is where the momentum can shift, though. We can see the momentum shift here. Now they're on pistol round. Marietta, if they win this pistol round, can start to get back in the driver's seat. We saw last half, as we expected, as soon as they lost those eco rounds that they needed to win, we saw it slowly spiral out of control until you snowball and can't stop it. This is what the half is for, truly, is so you can stop this momentum. And it, they do have pauses if they need to do them just for a mental reset to think and to collect it. I think they really ought to call for more time out here whenever Muskingum is on a roll like this. We saw this in the last game that I was able to cast, I believe, against Concordia. The amount of pauses that are there were really momentum shifting. Look at all those Utah being thrown at Pelican. A dart, a knife, a nave. Top there. in a big position. Did 
Must gang is gonna be able to get that down talk and gonna have to drag get sat down by feathered feathered rose, but that's gonna be two kills. Three kills from Marietta and now critical miss. Pushing up here, the spike is oh, down. Oh, what a what shot! A Check his What was that dude. shot? Joker gets another. Talking sits him down. Only one left. Is he playing for lineups? Get seven, get it half! He's not holding it, now it's just probably gonna have 31 HP, he's only one shot away, and then he's gonna get sat down by a right click from a mile away! I don't know if he would have had time either for that plan. If he gets the kill right there, he has time. But that right click did just sit him down there, right there. That's just super unlucky. What you need to do there as that brimstone is push up, up further into lamps here. If you see on the map, if you put it further into lamps, you're able to take a better angle to be able to refrag out your your um, Phoenix that's sitting on that point there, trying his best to make room for his team to play. A little bit of miscommunication there on Marietta. Um, I can see the knife does knives do get traded out here, and they do catch. They know they're in showers. Kingdom, they know they're in showers. Taku playing very close here. Just wall it off, man. Wall it off, I promise you, Taku. It's not worth it. Don't get flashed. Flash. Wall it off. Wow. Please wall it off, Taku. Taku is going to be able to keep it. The raise jumps and he shoots at the raise and gets sat down. Pelican trying to make something happen. The raise is low Planted. HP. This is good for them. Critical miss can get burned down. How did Wired Up get there? He's already in back sight. Bob's trying to make a play. He gets sat down as well. Make love and try to get a kill, but that doesn't work. And there we go, Must Kingdom really shifting that momentum, and now it's gonna be match point. Nope, match point. Already on Vine. Hey, is... I think I know what time it is, Zach. It's comeback time. It's, it's comeback the season. the rally cap season. The rally cap season. We're gonna see it happen. Marietta, they have the guns here. They win this round. It's great. That makes her eco way better. Gonna need. <sighs> McLovin, if McLovin dies here, this is going to be absolutely tragic for their eco. We're going to see again, their raise, Muskingum's raise is absolutely popping off this round, this match. Yeah, I mean, going to need 12 so look at this, rounds. The lurk up slowly to be. We're going to see the KJ holding it down. The smokes do go out. That smoke isn't great for gardens. They're able to slip out the left side. That's a pick, though, from Bubs. He's playing on backside now. McLovin gets another pick. They're winning these trades. Wired up. Now has a Vandal in his hands from McLovin. Bubs is playing very close here. The cage goes down. He sees one gets a headshot. The spike is down. The flash goes out. It does flash. The Silva just one left. Silva sits down, Bubs. You're gonna see. Can talk to a 1 HP? Okay, only two casualties. Only two casualties are Mary Eleven more. Eleven more. Eleven more. GG easy. All I gotta say. Ten more actually at the moment. If they do really win. Well, actually, no eleven. OT. Mm -hmm. That is correct. I that forgot OT the happens there. Must gang at twelve. Right now, both full buy rounds except McLovin. McLovin did die, which means he has given up his vandal privileges for this map at the moment. Only gonna be able to get in just for a moment or two. Exactly. You see the iPad come out. iPad does come out, looking into the stratosphere, trying to get better signal. <laughs> Bubs is playing on B with the KJ. This is a great setup. You have Taku still sitting close on showers. That is a very dangerous spot to be sitting there. You do set up a cross with your KO and your brim if they peek out. But again, if you are known to be there, they're just going to flash you and you can't see and you're dead. Exactly. Especially with this raise. Pelican in lamps just slow as it goes. We see Musk Kingdom slowly going to be. Of course, Marietta doesn't know this. There goes the camera, checking if anyone's on site. Knows the KJ setup is here. Here's the turrets. Here's the everything there. Coin gets thrown. McLovin. Now they know. Now they know. The gig is up. Wait, that's all the KJ stuffed down. With that, they needed to shoot that knife there. 
now all the KJ stuff is down. They don't know exactly where they are in plane. And that's going to be the KJ shutdown. McLovin is going to go down. Bubs and his ult is going to get sat down. That's going to be an explosive entry for him. Oh, no, no. And now it's only Taku who's been rotating all the way for A site. Trying to get in on B. The smoke does go down. He has a chance here to see Fight someone. Planted. But the smoke gets put down. We're going to see the brimstone. Look at this crossfire. How do you break this up if you're Taku? <laughs> Just three consecutive one taps, just as we saw. Oh, we're gonna shoot back at that, and that's gonna be the game, game Attackers one. Win. Put down there. That is very unlucky. We'll have to see what type of adjustments be made for. What is it again? Pearl? Yes, Pearl. Lotus. Or Lotus. Lotus huh? is gonna be our second match. Alrighty, so yeah, we saw that raise, the importance of it, 27, 8, and 11. I mean, the econ, the difference in econ rating is just impeccable. You see top three on that average combat score. Joker, Wired Up, and EK. So hopefully we'll get to see something else here as we get into game number two so we got that rally cap on you know so you know flip that around now that we aren't actually in rally season i am going to get these scores updated for you my co-host will be right back so we got three thirteen and there we go. <sighs> yeah, it was a quite ex er, eccentric game one. We will have to see, of course, some adjustments be made just because of how efficiently Muskingum was able to just tear through these sites and just completely nullify all of Marietta's attack strats that raise the ability to clear out. You saw that uh, KJ ult go down and immediately get broken as Muskingum just raise ults it. I mean, it doesn't seem like there is much you can do against that raise on bind. And again, a couple of questionable walls, but hopefully some things are fixed in between these next couple of sites. So real quick, while we are waiting, wanted to go over our uh hyperx sponsor so we are lucky enough to be sponsored by hyperx uh they've been providing us with a ton of peripherals keyboards mice headset mouse pads if you want anything go order at the link below scan that qr and get yourself something nice and support the uh program do have my co-host right back now, but we'll have to see what type of composition changes will be made because, again, Lotus is a pretty new map, and there are some strategies that are needed to be made for it, of course. And we'll have to see what Marietta brings out. Yes, of course. Um, Lotus is, I believe, the second newest map. The newest map at the moment is going to be Sunset, which is seen in comp at the moment, but not quite our competitive play here, I don't believe. It might be, but no one would pick that map because that map is relatively new and new strategies have been found for it that are really difficult. Astro is really good on the map, so you have to have a really good Astro player if you're going to be able to play that map. But here on Lotus, I want to see a Harbor. Harbor, again, I... For Talk sure. About it all the time. Who Either do you think Harvard? would be the one to bring that out on Marietta? On Marietta's side, I know that McLovin can play the controller role on that omen, but I don't know if he can bring out that harbor. I would love to see one of these players bring out the harbor. I don't see a real, like, distinctive controller player on here. Now, we usually see the controller player put on, to, like, you know, all the way down at the bottom of the leaderboard, but really they are the reason why. As we saw with that raise opening up that kills, those kills were set up by the brimstone. The brimstone able to cut off these angles make it so that um different avenues are unable to be pushed from and everything so we're going to see the score again muskingum does have the w at the moment for the first map three to 13 
Meredith can come back. I believe it. I'm oh, a strong yeah. believer in comeback season. This is an easy dub for Marietta, especially on this comp that isn't exactly favored for the Rays. So they can play the the they can actually play the Phoenix. They can play the Reina if they want. It's a lot more favored map to different types of duelists rather than just Rays 100 percent of the time. Mm -hmm. um, also here we're gonna see that um, I know Pelican likes to play Breach. Breach is not very bad on this map. Breach is actually pretty good. Has good flashes for this map. It has good lane control. There's actually something you can do. If you even want to see McLovin want to play on that omen roll, there's a certain paranoia you can do from a link that a hundred percent of the time, no matter what the agent does, if they're pushing out through a main into rubble, they will get blinded by the paranoia and free kills. Mm -hmm. Is a guarantee. Like there's actually like you. There's no agent fast enough. Neon can't sprint through. You can't dash through on jet. You can't blast pack it. You will get hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, Omen Pick is actually pretty good on this map. But again, I want to compare it with another controller like Viper or even um another uh, orb like an orb smoke like a uh, Brimstone even. Uh, again, Omen by himself just isn't great. Uh, let's talk about uh, the KO pick. We see Critical Miss always picking KO here, which is great. We're going to go back straight to the game real quick now. Instead of seeing our lovely faces, we're going to see the lovely faces of Taku at the moment. <laughs> but we're going to be on Defender just so we can see everything. We're going to see if it's working. It's not. It's okay. We're just going to see Taku's face. That's fine. But on the left side, we're also not really having good audio, are we? Huh. There we go. Should we have you having audio now? Not hearing the in-game sound. I'm hearing it. The picks. Like I wonder why I'm not hearing it. That's so, crazy. You unplugged your mic. That so would my headset got sense. unplugged somehow. We see Critical so that's Miss going on that deadlock. Um. Uh. Deadlock. Do you know that in competitive play, deadlock has a 0% pick rate? Uh, I wonder. <laughs> and at the moment is the least picked agent in the game at 23% pick rate. I'm gonna see two duelists come out along with that omen for joker this as we saw him on the is a very aggressive comp yeah i mean you've got the fade and the omen blinds plus you've got that raise aggression and the reina being able to walk wherever so it really is most likely just going to come down to execution and if marietta is able to stave off the attacks here i'm very concerned with the composition for marietta the deadlock just isn't it um, deadlock here, what you can do, you can block off avenues in rubble, you can block off avenues a link, and in stairs, but you can still be, still be shot through them, and you can see through them very clearly. So, and her sensors aren't that good utility, because you can just walk past them, and her orb that slows people still doesn't stop them from shooting back. So again, the oldest util that deadlock has is kind of arbitrary it doesn't really do an impact like a raised paint shell or a molotov would see some smiles come out from mclovin as he is ready oh he already hears footsteps he doesn't know it's b he thinks it's a he thinks it's a did one of them call a it's b 100 percent uses both of his smokes already he can't smoke a main Someone must have called A. That's gonna be Taku getting sat down by the Rays. A little bit of an exchange of gunfight. Can't quite hit the head that he's looking for. And they're rotating from B all the way to C after being paranoid by McLovin. It's now a 3v4 with Rays absolutely sitting down bottles with a one tap. I didn't even see her on the screen, and that pain shell is gonna do Fight massive planted. damage to Critical Miss. Miss trying to make an impact here, going in, but gets paranoia, and that's gonna be a swing for the Rays. What great teamwork could Musking him? Pelican has this fault line, but doesn't use it. And Joker picks up the last two. Maria doesn't win pistol rounds. Haven't seen it once. They've never won a pistol round. Nope. So it's fine. Marietta, not a pistol round, Andy. But they can come back, of course. Already. They're going to have to play together here to get this buy round under control because we're going to see the same buy that was seen before. It's going to be seen again with a full shield specter combo. And all of Marietta is going to be not buying much util and is just going to be trying to play for the classics and play together. Try to swarm them down like Piranhas, a stinger from Pelicans. Wait a minute. They're forcing. They're gambling. 
They're gambling to see if they can take a round to try and stop the force of Muskingum running it down on B. They're smoked off. The orb is going to be seen. Taken Taku slowly making his way to the orb, but they are getting planted, and that's wired up taking down Spike Pelican planted. Stinger. Critical Goodness. miss at one HP. Muskingum is so well off at the moment in full HP. Taku's getting seen. Joker takes down McLovin. Critical miss. That's going to pick on the Joker, but it's going to be sat down in return. Bubs can't really find an angle to do anything with. I'm going to peek out. That's a great blind from Taku. The Taku gets sat team down. That's going to be a teammate for Muskingum. And only one member down for them. Yeah. Again, just need... These, these rounds, they just need to keep picking them up. This is very difficult for Marietta. Now they're going to be on, on even more dire straits. But they have to save again. And we're going to see that Muskingum is just bonusing again. So this is going to be an equal buy here. But Muskingum favors losing or winning this, regardless of what the outcome is. They're in favor of this. Taku, what the frick? Look at that shot. Sits down the top frag of Muskingum. McLovin does get picked by Wired Up, though, trying to make it even with the other duelist. That was an insane shot by Taku. Opening it up for the round. Now it's even. But you see, Mus Marietta traded their smokes for a raise. Not the exact thing you want to see. Critical miss. Just going to be able to see that. What a shot from Bubs. Critical miss used his body to delay. And then Bubs sat him down. Now he has a specter. And this is looking planted. very in favor of Marietta College. Critical miss slowly pushing in here. The leer is going to come out. The dog, the cat comes out. Critical Barrier miss. Can we shut down that avenue? What is that? Feathered Roses gets two before Critical Miss can actually go and see him, and that was a 2v2 situation. Critical Miss has anyways back sight. The Omen can see from that there on Doom gets the headshot. That's gonna be them shut down. The patience from light. Critical Miss did not hear the sound cue of the Fade shooting his teammates, so he's unable to go and flick back. Again, that favors Muskingum because now that they won that, look at their eco. They can buy forever and critical miss after using that wall that he used and now doesn't have any credits to buy his util back. I mean, he's going to have his util and then he's going to buy light shields here instead of being able to buy full shields. We'll see what he's got. going to buy all of his util except one sensor. Going to be starting out with a grenade here. Put the sensor down. Sound sensor up. See, it looks like it's going to be a, a 1 1 3 setup for Muskingum University. And the 2 3 setup actually rotates. Gonna come I have out a little bit. spike. Better Rose looking at B. See that it is free. Slowly working on. See if he can catch anyone rotating through B. Doesn't. Bubs holding this from heaven. As Pelican holds it from. She is going to get sat down. Oh, what a wall! That's actually an insane wall, but McLovin's gonna get shot down. Taku with another kill. Taku's gonna get traded out though, and now it's a 2v3 with critical miss on 1 HP, and that's gonna be a teleport from Muskingum onto B site, and the light's gonna plant it in this little hole here. Molotovs can easily be planted there, and Bugs with a frag, but that gives away the position with that orb, the soul he's eating. He will isolate standing. the ones, but expects them to be standing and not crouching. Critical miss, one bullet takes him down. Looks like Joker was saying something in all chat. Probably a cough. Good. Keep your focus. Do the armor swing him. As per usual. Marietta has to get a foothold here, and they're back on an eco. Taku has been the one trying to make plays here. He does get some a really nice shots, gets another kill. Bubs is just left in 1v4 situations too often to make anything out of him. going to see a 4-1 setup from this game. It's going to be McLovin. My ultimate is ready. 
And Feathered Rose is going to get a pick on the Taku. I'm not able to make anything work with that. And they're going to be shooting the barrier down. You see, this is why Deadlock Utopia just doesn't do much, because they're just going to shoot it down. And, like, you can't swing off of it because they're shooting it from a safe location. And that's going to be a smoke for a link wired up sitting down McLovin, but Bubs with one. Bubs gets traded out. Oh, he can try to get a kill. Critical miss. Here's the plant, but can't Last see anyone. Gets the leer. Blinds him. Pelican hiding in the smoke. Gonna move the flash out, but he gets flashed himself. Almost gets a pick, but then gets killed by Wired up. He's able to dodge the flash. 0 oh, 5 at the moment, going in favor of Muskingum University. What is the game plan for Marietta here? They have so many different alts to use. They do have. The deadlock ult, which is okay. They can get a ult. pick. They could attempt can really to get change. A pick. If they grab the, at the moment, Joker is absolutely stunting. Again, this isn't quite a raise map, so we're not going to see the raise do as well as other players like the Omen, who is just acting as basically a third duelist, basically with his smokes and his mobility. That's going to be an A push in the tree as quickly as it can. Why would he? Can I be able to stop the rotation on the B if necessary? McLovin is trying to get a flank here with Taku. Bubs? It's a 3 2 setup. This flank might be too long. He teleports past the trip. Why? That's going to be Bubs! Sat down by Wired Up. Taku has to destroy the trip. McLovin doesn't get the trade that he's looking for on the Feathered Rose. Feathered Rose is going to be able to catch out Taku with his Prowler. Throws his eye. Marks Taku. Joker is going to be planning this critical miss on Taku. We're left to try to clean up this round. Maybe get a few picks here to help the eco. Honestly, you save here if you're Marietta, but I don't think that Muskingum is going to let that happen. Last player standing. What a headshot. Okay. That's great. Critical Miss cannot save this Vandal if he really chooses to, which I believe he should. He's going back in. The wild man. He still does have that ult, but I would believe that they're going to hold on to it. I believe, yeah, no, he's just going to save. If he loses this Vandal here, he can't buy another one. He's at zero credits. He has to save. Mm -hmm. I believe Muskingum knows he's saving. He's backing away from the spike. And, his, and Marietta is going to concede this round for a gun. Oh, six. It's not looking Wired up is going to go down to the bomb somehow. It's kind of an unfortunate thing for them, but it doesn't matter. They have enough, and the timeout is going to start four games grump, stopping the momentum of Muskan. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is... This Frustrating. Is a very frustrating round for Marietta. Everything they've been trying to for on defense has just been shut down. They go stack more on B, they go A. They stack on C, they go A, they, or they go B. It's just, it's very hard to control these lanes with only an Omen or with only a, a, a Deadlock here. Here with KJ, you can have set up on B to tell you and give you information, but there's no information on Deadlock. There's no information in this comp. Taku is the only one that can give a information for his team. The Breach doesn't know if his blinds hit anyone. It doesn't know if his fault line hits someone. The only person that can actually get information on where the enemies are going to be rotating or where they are is Taku. And Taku is usually the one taking these duels. So he's unable to use his dog and unable to use his birds in the time that he needs to. And honestly, Taku has not used a dog once? very often. Not once, no. Here, to gather information, if you are on defense, what you want to be doing, throwing a bird here, C main... You're going to be throwing a bird C main here in the mound to try to see if anyone is going to be lurking up there. And then if you know that they're going to be close, try to dog. Or you can dog into B main and see which side they're coming from and see if they're going to rotate or not. So right here, this is going to be a back of utility usage from Marietta. I see that is going to be really be hindering them in this. You see? A C push. No one's on C. Here, they're trying to stack B, but they're just going to go C. And... Let's get him walking for free like they own the place. This is again why Deadlock again is just not good on this map compared to either a Cypher or a KJ. KJ can hold this and a Cypher can hold this all by their lonesome. But when you have only a Deadlock, she can't control this. 
That is a Reina. great pull, but the Reina might be put it out. Wait, that is util usage indeed. Two kills going to the side of Marietta, but Marietta is going to be falling down to 3v3 at the moment with Pelican being at 1 HP, but he's still dangerous. He's still looking for a pick. That's now a 3v2, and that's going to be the Joker Last holding this down, but I don't think Bubs can do much. That's two down, and that's going to be Bubs going down as well. There's too many crossfires to be put there. They're just playing for spam on the spike. Really not much they can do there. I mean, you do see that deadlock come out and grab that Reyna, but regardless, they just have to set up. That Reyna is one pick. You can't... You can't chop up these crossfires as easy as you would be able to with information, because again, they're not trying to dodge util. They're simply just... Listening. I, at the moment, Muskingum is Sound confident in being able to walk wherever, however, whenever they want. That's a awesome charm to see. Oh, that is wildly unfortunate. Oh, but that's gonna be a oh, Taku doesn't get the kill though. Gonna be raised left at one HP. Taku does not quite get the pick he needs there. Spike planted. Slowly pushing up. McLovin does get a pick. On to the rail. See what starts to lurk down B. This could be a huge fight going out. Get this off. We just see him play quiet. Spike is down. That's one A lane to get the kill. McLovin. Great play there. The Reina was blind, so he pushes out to help his Reina. He's going to paranoia both. People there, but that's gonna be the way he's sitting there. He's gonna be playing for that. He can't turn in time. The smoke goes down. Again, one of the yet. many different nuance differences between a brimstone and an omen is the amount of time you have on those smokes. Uh, and it was just enough smoke. time that those crossfires he had broken up got reopened so that he could not focus on the rays and he got shot in the back. Yup. Oh man. Oh, shoot. Very, very difficult here for Marietta to be able to figure out what to do here. How do you defend against this comp that's just barreling, barreling it down main, barreling it down choke as quick as they can. Here we're gonna see a B push. It's going to be Bubs in a lurk here. Slow as he goes. Gonna be getting one with the judge. How many more can he get? He's gonna get two with the judge. That's massive. Making it even here on this eco round. Taku with only a shorty to his name, playing C. Not the there's a signal. Gonna go A to try to take these long range, longer range duels. Pelican gets shot down. They are on A. The rotates are coming through. It's just McLovin trying to defend with his life. Here's one Here's planting, no plant can't do much with it. Spike Frequent planted. Is going to be he gets one, he almost gets the second standing. wire and his one HP. Taku is left with only a shorty to his name. Don't! Oh. That is a wild play from Marietta. I will admit that is wild. Picking up a, a stinger. 12 bullets in. What's going to make with it? Ticking. He has a dog, he has a bird, he has so much, there's no one there. there. This crossfire is deadly, he needs to pick up this Vandal and make a play, but it's not going for it. He goes for the Vandal. What is he going to be able to do? He's going to see the backside, he gets Leer, they're just stalling. They don't care about this bomb, and now Taku's going to run with his life vandal. with a Vandal. He's going to get found from behind. He's the one who's doing it. He only gets the headshot he needs. But that's another round down. away. Yeah, 9-0. Ulting there is detrimental. Yeah. Really. So you have a shorty and you don't have any teammates, so no one can actually use your YouTube that you just got there. You knew where they were. That's great. But what are you gonna do? Now we're gonna see three alts being used here from Bubs, uh, not being used, but ha being held onto by Bubs, McLovin, and Pelican. Bubs might be using his Empress to try and get some picks here, main. We're going to see both Omen Alts are going to be online, so we're going to be seeing how Marietta is going to fare against this. Face your very fear! Patient. Oh, there it is, clear sight. McLovin is going to be hit. Can't get out. 
Uh, Lear doesn't quite make the noise he wants. Pelican has his ult, and Pelican also ult side here quickly. They can recontest. Let's see if Pelican is gonna do it. He may need the ult here just so we can recontest. There it goes. That hits every single person on Muskingum except the Reyes. Who jumps in? Double blast in. Pelican grabs a grabs kill. Pelican grabs another. They know Taku this is a gun. He has a marshal and needs to go and grab this gun. And now it's just left for Taku who doesn't have much to work with. He has a marshal to his name and 70 health. And he gets spotted by that dart too. He gets spotted by the dart. Gets spotted by the camera. And um... Again, it just looks like another round going over to Muskingum off of what was a great ult from Pelly. Right there, you really have to see the... Get spotted, he has to reload. It looks like he's just gonna end up saving a. You gonna save a marshal? Right here, he has to go in and try to do something. You're not saving a marshal. If you die here, you get more credits than if you live. I think he has to die just to be able to get enough credits for next round. Except he's going to save his marshal. Very quiet round Magic there. Magic from them that execute. That raise bursted in with blazing speed. The double satchel right there. She was the only one that hit by that alt, and she made the difference there. Are we gonna keep seeing these A pushes come out from the skin, or are they gonna switch things up? I mean, they don't necessarily have to fix anything because they're up 10-0. So nice. we see Ray's walk down a long, joined with the Omen. This is C. Ooh, C. the crossing of the path, and Tauku puts his gun away, doesn't want to keep holding it. And we're going to hear an op shot. Bubs has an operator? He apparently seems to. What is this by? I've missed some crucifixion. Oh, Tauku! Has his knife out the raise, lurked over to see, gives a call that it's clear. Wired up's gonna sit down Pelican, he wasn't dangerous enough. And that's gonna be C taken no relatively uncontested. That's gonna be a paper critical miss. He needs to fight for that gun there. Looks up the Vandal, tries his best to do something. Bubs has this op is gonna be me, the raise, who sits him down, and that's gonna be an op for the raise. It picks it up. Nope, gonna be letting it fly on the ground and Lake Lovin does get a pick here. Critical Miss knows there's someone here but doesn't know where. He's Checks the right, right and he's gonna get shot Player from the left. Here. All down to McLovin gets spotted. Surely. Has a vandal but has to save it. If he doesn't save this round, he's not gonna have a gun for next. This is but, the last round. But he gets spotted and then he's gonna get... Oh, he gets killed. The 4K. Last round before the switch. Did they pick up the operator? They did not. The last round, Marietta can buy. Not much, but they can buy. Oh, and 11. This half is not been in Marietta's favor. We do see Wasking. I'm just running through them. It's All just game. No util to stop them. There's no. There's no util. They, they don't winning. got those the legion science. mines from R6, bro. They don't have the legion mines. The ash rush is too strong. She goes in, bursts down the wall that you just happened to leave unreinforced, and there it goes. Honestly, this is the same thing of just leaving a, a site just unreinforced. Fire Look at this. What is Pubs gonna do? The race flies out, doesn't see him! Two ships crossing in the night, he gets out, but will he be able to get to corner? He gets there! Oh, lives with his life! Critical Let's Miss is gonna it. sit down, but he gets one with him, and he's gonna be able to shoot the omen! Controls his aim just long enough, but he's gonna get shot and get detected! One goes down to 2v2. Taku and Pelican. and Taku. The raise is at 1 HP, the spike is down, they're working against the clock. See the focus. Back Flash sight. comes out, holding. They know they're here. The rays. That wall gonna go down just in time. Taku doesn't get the picking need. Taku trying to get him from there. He gets one. Pelican versus Pelican with the kill. Shut up and let me. But there's any time. He has enough time. Pelican is dangerous. 
He got the clutch that they oh, needed. Point eight one. Oh my god. You were sweating. I'm not. He had that in the bag. You can Switching tell with sides. the sound cue. And now one to eleven. Marietta comeback time. You know what? I'm putting that rally cap. The rally cap back is on. Back on. Pelican won the round for his team there. That was an amazing show of gunmanship. Taku as well, putting as much pressure as he could on that race, having her look at two ways at once. It was a great way to get those crossfires. I think that round crucially came down to Bubs living there and being able to right catch there. another pick. Yes, before he's he taken able down. To two and that all right. from Critical Miss was able to get one as well. So there was three kills at the start of that round that allowed the two players from Marietta, both Pelican. The two freshmen. Yes, to the two freshmen. Two See, two flashes going. And that's going to be um, an interesting blind from As the Hawk Rocky. sees all of them, look at all of those fear trails available. And that mm. comes out, hits no one. Uh, Taku does get one. Make love and makes it even. Now it's even here. Taku trying to heal. Joker and EK, the two players, the big ones for this team. Currently not available. Make love and trying his best to shut down. This is going to be a stun. That's going to be a. Sheriff, that's a big pick from Taku. Taku gets two this round. It's now even again. Player standing. The what? Oh my lord. The amount of. That's gonna be the pistol round. Again, Mary doesn't want pistol rounds, it's fine. Well, Did you see that collapse? Through the box, through the point. Right into the head of Taku. The lining up is very unfortunate. They just lined up perfectly. The stars, again, they aligned so beautiful that it just let him talk you not being able to again, help that The that. single piece of utility that gave that round up. That fade orb. That fade orb. Again, it marked all of them. And you can see exactly where they're playing from, and then they were able to isolate 1v1s. We saw Mariana not really swinging together, but giving a lot of ones. Oh, and that's going to be one pick. Down, Nicholas, running it down as quick as he could, but that pick out. No one's there to able to get the refrag. The paranoia goes out, but no one's there to trade off of it. Bubs with a sheriff. See, this is the road. It is match point. Feathered Rose surely hears all of them there. He hears the rotations. That's going to be the camera set up getting taken down. Feathered Rose slowly sneaking past. It's right up they know him. the gig is up. They're looking. Oh, they look away. They know Bubs is going to try to get the kill. Bubs gets set down with the spike, spike in their spawn. The hawk goes out. That's going to be the Rays getting two, three actually in this run. That's going to be the game. Defenders win. Marietta loses one to thirteen. It's a little bit. That hurts for Marietta. I'm going to be switching the score over here shortly. Switching the score over here. Marietta 1, Muskingum 13. We were not able to beat the Goofy Fish today. But we did our absolute best here today, boys. And that was very unfortunate for Marietta. It's just... The utility choices were not... They weren't there, and plus I don't think there. I really agree with the deadlock. I No, the deadlock, it doesn't show any impactful utility. Yes, your utility can be useful, but not impactful. Unlike the Rays, unlike the Reyna, unlike the, the Cypher, who is able to get information. That was the one thing I think Marietta is lacking, is information. We see... Professional teams, their comps are dying for information. We'll see them use util not to kill anyone, but just to gain information of where they're going. So many times, Marietta weren't able to stack a site, and it was just one person left to defend for themselves, and then they got smacked down on by Muskingum with a five-man rush. Yeah. I mean, Muskingum really were the aggressors here today. So, believe that will be it until 3 o'clock. Is there anything else you would like to go over, Zach? Um, not really. I think that game really speaks for itself there. Yeah. Um, the stats would not, I mean, it, again, I really want to see 
I want to see more diversity in characters from Marietta, honestly. The lack of having that main controller role is really a hindrance, and the lack of having that that really impactful Sentinel as well it well, is have very... To, you have to remember, our main Sentinel player is out today. He is out today, so maybe in the off time... As I know, it's very difficult to pick up, like, KJ. KJ is a very specific character with specific lineups. So just being able to pick her up out of the blue is difficult. So maybe someone goes into a lab, maybe, like, once, maybe twice, and goes and, like, learn KJ lineups for, like, one or two maps so you can bring him out on that map if you need to so that you're able to get those setups to be able to help your team there. Because right there, if there is a Cypher or a KJ, C can be locked down for free there. So Marietta only has to turn their heads to two locations. The f C is already... Um, covered with the bots or with the camera. We saw that on the side of Muskingum, they just left their cipher on C the entire time. Mm -hmm. So they're able to just, there's the cam, they're gone. We saw that on multiple maps. Mm -hmm. And we did, I mean, again, going back on that information piece, the only real information operators that, or agents, sorry, I'm a Rainbow Six guy, uh, the only real agents that Marietta was bringing that were good for air information was the KO, only on that first map. And it just could not rival the KO of Muskingum or the Cypher information that they were able to gain. I say, even then with KO, KO, it's very, you have that information on a 12 second cooldown comparatively. And on the, like, those 12 seconds, you like can hit someone, you can suppress them, you know that they're there, which is good. It tells you who's all there, what you're going into, which is awesome for a map like Bind. But again, Bind was had the shortcoming with um, no... Raise again, raise is 100% pick rate for a reason on that map. Yeah, well, this will be the not the end, but we will be going on break until our fortnight at three in nice traditional build. So we will hope to see you then. So, we did just get news that we are going to be taking down the stream for the next two-ish hours until the Fortnite Nace traditional build is back up, where we will get to see the Fortnite team debut. Um, so for now, thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on all of our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. And be sure to join the Discord, bit.ly bit.ly slash pio discord um we would like to thank all of the sponsors for their constant support and yep so um just for a quick rundown of all the responses we have we have picked up some new sponsors here with buy blue light incredible msi elgato and kovacs those are our new sponsors that we have coming this year um, Incrediware has awesome um, fitness gear that helps um, relieve pain and also increases recovery. We have MSI with all the awesome computer parts that help us build new computers that we can have more machines to play on. Kovacs is an aim training um, aim training uh, game that helps all of our FPS players. Elgato is how we are able to get all these awesome face cams and also to stream. Uh, the Super Smash Brothers Max, and of course, HyperX again, another big thank you for all of the mice, keyboards, microphones, mouse pads that they give us, and also Over the Moon Pizza, thank you so much for being a sponsor, and also having all of our games on Tuesdays streamed during the NACE, uh, NACE um, time for the Overwatch match.
on us all of our sponsors to be going over here also subscribe to us with prime gaming if you have an amazon prime account you just link it to your twitch and with that you get one free subscription why not use it with your favorite college esports marietta college esports and also with the subscriber benefits you get all of our awesome emotes except those two faces of our coaches those are tier two and tier three respectively to game scrub and droger also known as the director both. dr williams mm -hmm. so thank you so very much for watching and we will be sure to be back at